I'm Saturday hauling for you guys today and I decided to take advantage of the sale that was going on the entire month of November on the NIAD website. So I got two more of the fractionated eye contour concentrates which I hauled one a couple weeks back when the sale first started and I don't notice that they have a ton of sales throughout the year so that's why I went ahead and got two more of these as backups while the sale was going on. So this is the product right here. It comes in a one fluid ounce glass dropper bottle. You guys have heard me talk about this a couple times so far, but I use it morning and night as my first uh, treatment for around the eyes. And it's kind of like an oil feeling eye serum product, but it doesn't like seep into your eyes like a lot of like oil eye products I've tried in the past. And I just really like what it does for my eye area. Did I say a one ounce? It's a half fluid ounce uh, pipette glass bottle. It's not a full ounce, it's a half an ounce. Um, and they're made in Canada. So I grabbed two more of these guys. And then because I love the new Inglot Plan Soap Brow that I also hauled a few weeks back, I really wanted to get the clear version because it also comes in a clear version. I have the tinted one. And I was so excited to get it. <laughs> and then I accidentally ordered another one of the same color. <laughs> so I have to reorder that one yet, but I do have this product in my eyes. This here has been my absolute favorite soap brow style product that I've tried and I've tried a lot. It looks just really good in the brows. It's what I've got in my brows today along with the Nick um, marker or the brow pen in Ash Blonde. So I don't mind having a backup, <laughs> but I accidentally um, must have never clicked the clear option when I ordered it. <laughs> but really good product though from Inglot. I totally recommend it if you like that soap brow or really like to stand your hairs up without like having it look like there's a ton of product in there. So that's the Inglot soap brow in brown. So I will have to try again. <laughs> to order the other one. And then I also saw this LA Girl Dazzling Days Beauty For ya Highlighter. It appeared to be a baked jelly product, so it was really intriguing to me. And it is a baked jelly product. It's made in China, which I've noticed um, other areas of the world besides Italy are now coming out with baked jelly style products. But this has got 0.35 ounces of product or 10 grams. Again, it's made in China. Um, there are a couple shades of this available. I got the one in Dazzle in a Daze. Um, and it comes in packaging like so. And you know, it can look pretty if you put it over kind of a more tacky base. So like when I recently, my skin's quite dry as I've mentioned several times. <laughs> so I don't really set the outside area of my cheek um, until I go in with highlighter so that it really sticks and amps up the shine. And it works really well like that for me. And this one does look pretty when I do it like that, but it's much more subtle and it's a much drier kind of um, formulation to it, I guess. So it's not quite as smooth as I was hoping and it looks a little bit more, again, dry and powdery than I was hoping for. So I'm not like super crazy about it. Um, it was only, I don't know, $6 or something. So if you like a little bit more of a subtle like finish, you might really like this. Um, there aren't like super big visible sparkles or anything like that, but there are some kind of flaky sparkles in it. On my hand it looks quite pretty actually, but I'm so used to those really in your face blinding shiny highlighters that this one just kind of felt, I guess a little bit more subtle <laughs> than what I'm used to. And again, the texture is a little bit more dry, but um, that is the LA Girl Buphoria Iridescent Highlighter in Dazzle in a Daze right there. And then MAC lipsticks were on sale, so I stocked up on some of my favorites, and then I also got a new one, and that is a Luster Glass lipstick in Mars to Your Venus. It's one of those shiny ones, and it's just a really pretty warm tone nude. It's actually what I've got on my lips today. Where did I set the tube? 0.1 ounces of product in this one, and MAC lipsticks are usually made in Canada. This has got the shiny packaging, so you can kind of distinguish it as like the luster glass finish. And I have another luster glass uh, lipstick somewhere, and I do really like the formula, but that particular shade was a little bit darker than I thought it was going to be. But is that not like the prettiest, warm, shiny nude? I really like it. MAC just does amazing, amazing lipsticks. I find myself continually going back to MAC lipsticks. They're like the OG. And in comparison to all the new lipsticks and new lipstick formulas that come out, these are still some of the best lipsticks. I'm not crazy about the matte ones because I'm just not like a matte lipstick wearer probably, but Put some more of this on. It looks like I have a, I have a gloss on, but I don't. It's this lipstick because it's that luster glass finish. 
It's really pretty though. So I got that one again. That's Mars to your Venus. And then I also got a fresh Saint Germain. I hadn't worn this in a while and I still have it in my collection and it still appears to be really good. But I just wanted a fresh one because I felt like I was going to start wearing it more. I'm really into a light like cool pink lipstick and that's what this is. I believe this is what I was wearing in last week's video but very vibrant cool tone pink. Again this is Saint Germain in the Amplified Cream formula. It's been around for a long time this one. I wanted to get a fresh one of those so that's Saint Germain and then I also got three of my other all-time faves which are Cream Cup, Creme de Nude, and Snob. These guys right here so I will swatch the ones that I have got in use right now. So starting with Creme de Nude, that's what's left of this particular one. I believe I have one in my bag as well but this is just a good good nude lipstick. And the finish on this one is a cream sheen. And then we've got Cream Cup, which this is the one I got in Vegas, and I wore it almost the whole time I was down there. It's a cool tone pink as well, but it's more of a nude cool tone pink, especially in comparison to Saint Germain. So that's Cream Cup. And then the other one is Snob, which is also a cool tone pink, kind of in the middle of Cream Cup and Saint Germain. I feel like it's a little bit more wearable, if you will, compared to Saint Germain, but it's also got a little bit more purple in it. So I got another fresh snob. A fresh snob. <laughs> I also picked up another one of the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Broad Spectrum SPF 28 foundations in 200 fair ivory. Um, I can usually only find this shade at Walmart. I've used the, I think it's 210 as well and that works, but I like the brighter version um, because I use it as an eyeshadow primer and I have for a really long time and it does really well with my dry eyelids and it also has that SPF in there which I really like. Um, but it because it's a lighter shade it, it does pop color a little bit more than like 210 so I really like the 200 shade. Um, so I got another one of those because mine is running rather low. This is what's left of the one I have in use right now just so you guys can see for what it's worth. You can see there's a lot of like moisture content in there and it just does my eyelids, my drier eyelids really really well. Shadows blend over it great. Again it's got the SPF product I've been using for a really long time as well. So um, CoverGirl Simply Ageless foundation in uh, 200 Fair Ivory. I also picked up the Maybelline Sky High Lash Sensational Mascara in a new shade that they came out with and it's called Blue Mist 797. Um, the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift came out in a blue as well and I love, I love that blue mascara. Um, so I wanted to try this one. I love the Sky High formula as well but I like the L'Oreal a bit more. I feel like it lasts a lot longer in the tube because I really can go through these Sky High mascaras fast. Um, but the formulations kind of have some similar aspects and I do like the wand on the L'Oreal one better because it's more firm so it combs out the lashes a bit better where the Sky High is a little flimsy. But anyway, I do know that I like this mascara because I've gone through a lot of them over the years. So I wanted to try their blue version of it. So this is what it looks like. So you can see right here, it's got the more flimsy wand. And this one here, it's a little bit more muted. Um, I did notice that when I was combing it through my lashes, it did kind of pick up, you know, part of the eyeliner that got on my eyelashes as well and deepened it up. But I do the same thing with the L'Oreal one. And the L'Oreal one does retain more blue in comparison uh, to this one right here. Not a bad product. I'll use it up and everything like that. But um, again, I do think that the L'Oreal uh, Telescopic Lift in the blue um, is a little bit more vibrant. So that's the new Sky High Lash Sensational from Maybelline in Blue Mist right there. I also picked up this Anna Sui Perfect Eyeliner in the shade Perfect, no, Perfect Eyeliner 002. Okay, it's the Perfect Eyeliner. <laughs> um, 0.13 fluid ounces in here. And again, it's 002. It doesn't really have a name other than that. This is with the packaging looks like right here there is, did I say 0.13 fluid ounces of product and this is made in Japan. I absolutely love the packaging on this. It really reminds me of the old, old, old Kat Von D liner, which I absolutely loved. It was in an inkwell. And the swatches on the Beautylish website appeared to be like this teal shade, which, um, but also kind of a darkened teal. And that's what it is. What I didn't realize though, however, it is like a metallic shimmer finish. Um, and I do really like the shade of it but it reflects quite strongly in the light which 
it tends to be less definitive um, for how I like my winged liner. Um, so I'll probably just do it kind of like little accent-y stuff with it, but it does have like a thick, shorter brush tip applicator on it. And again, it's this nice, rich, uh, tealy kind of color, but it does have a decent amount of shimmer in it. Um, and it almost looks a little like a gray teal on. So, and there's also a pretty strong rose fragrance in this, but it's an Anasui product and the majority of her products are really strongly scented with rose. Um, I'm glad I picked it up. I will get some use out of it for sure. But again, I didn't realize that there was shimmer in it and I love, I love the packaging. Love the brush tip applicator. It could be a little bit longer and a little bit finer, but I can work with it. So that is the Anasui Perfect Eyeliner in 002 right there. I also bought two of the Sonia G brushes from her new Fundamental collection. Um, they sent me over the full range and I'm kind of kicking myself. I should have just bought another set of the full range because I really, really love the brushes. I've been using them nonstop. I've used quite a few of them today as well. Um, but the two that I picked up, I just, I just love these brushes. The um, handles are walnut and they're not like lacquered. Um, they almost feel like a natural buffed or polished wood in the hands and then they have this kind of brushed matte black ferrule. But I love, love, love these two brushes. I find that they're really versatile. So having a couple of them um, in use is not a bad thing for sure. So this first one is the Worker S. And this has replaced kind of my Chikahoto GSN 9, which I've been using for years and years. And I have several of. This is the what the GSN 9 looks like. It's a little bit smaller in comparison, but I find that I can just get a quicker blend um, and it kind of covers more area so I can do a faster eye with um, using this uh, Worker S brush in lieu of the Chikahoto one, which again, I've been using that Chikahoto brush in the crease for like dark shadows for so long. Um, this one's just really, really quick and it blends out really nice too. And then the other one is the Crease M, which is circular all the way around. This one here has got a little bit of a pinch to it. And I love this one for blending out that darker crease color that I put down with this brush. Um, but they're very, very versatile. This one would also work for packing on the lid or blending highlight underneath the brow. So I got these two guys. They're just really, really great brushes. I may end up getting another full set of the Fundamental series as well, because again, they're just all really great. So those are the Sonia G Crease M and Worker S. This is Crease M, this one's Worker S, and this one, again, is pinched. And then something that I typically do every single year is pick up the Chikahoto holiday sets. Um, oddly enough, I don't know what it was, but last year's collection, I don't know what, again, I don't know what it was, but it kind of didn't appeal to me as much. Um, but this year's, this year's is absolutely beautiful. So I got the three brush set. I don't remember the name offhand. And mine are all still in the wrappers because I haven't used them yet. But the handles on these are so, so stunning. So it's like a pearled um, finish. And then there's also like a reflective, I'd say like almost duochrome metallic etching of some really pretty flowers on the handle. So you've got this large angled brush that looks very multi-purpose. I think that I, I'll get a lot of use out of this doing multiple different things. Um, super soft. Chikahoto quality is amazing. Um, this is what the handle looks like. And the white is, again, it's like a pearl. And then it's got the flowers on there. They're just so, so pretty. And then you've got this pointed kind of pencil brush right here, which is also really good for fine highlight areas. And then there is a pinched um, shader, kind of like a MAC 217, and these all have the etching on them. It is such a pretty set. Wait till I see the other one too. They're so, so pretty. So I got the three set, and then the five brush set comes with a brush pouch, which these are quite handy for travel. The three set does not come with a brush pouch. And again, this one is a five piece brush set. This one here has got a pearl purple and it's like a cool tone purple and then it has the metallic etching on the handles and this collection again just super super stunning so this is like a, a slightly pinched all over powder brush very very soft it's got like the brushed black ferrule on there and then you've got a this is another brush that can be very multi-purpose you can use it for highlighter like carving out with bronzer or blush look at these handles though 
I just love, love them. And then we have got a kind of a, like a larger brush. This would be good for a fine highlight or like all over shadows. So it is also pinched. It's kind of like a paddle brush. It'd probably be really good for concealer as well. And then you've got a eyebrow brush right here. And then a little smudger, which I actually use brushes like this to put on the KVD pomade on my waterline. I just pick some up and like pat it on the waterline. So it's really handy to have these little guys right here. But just a stunning, stunning holiday collection from Chikohoto, both of them. They're so pretty. Let me grab the um, two brushes here and show them next to each other so you guys can see just how beautiful. They're so pretty. So I got those guys. I also bought the new Nira Pro Laser Advanced Wrinkle Reduction in Skin Renewal device. Um, this is their latest laser. And I purchased the smaller one, the I one, I would say, I think it was like a year ago. And I've been using it for like a, a year <laughs> since I got it um, pretty much every single night. And I use it over the entire eye area. And I love this little tiny head because I can get all the way in the nooks and crannies around my eye and I can also get kind of in the crease and towards the eyelid area. You do have to be really careful when you do that. But I really think that this has done a good job with helping with like fine lines and stuff around my eyes. So I was excited when they came out with a larger version, kind of a face one. And I've tried the Tria or I've had the Tria laser in the past as well. And that one like brushes all over the face. Um, but I wanted to try this guy. They were having 25% off and I thought that I could do quicker around the eye area. And then also I kind of have some scarring I don't know how well you guys can see it, but some kind of some acne scarring right here that I don't like and like a couple other little spots. So I wanted to try this one for larger areas over the face. And it says reduce fine lines and wrinkles, easy to use three minutes a day, no pain, redness or downtime, FDA cleared proven results, convenience at home, safe for all skin types. And this one here I've definitely not had and used long enough to be like, oh, I've got IC results, you know? But again, I do feel like the area around my eyes from the other one, they like maintain looking pretty decent. Um, so I gotta use it more. But this one here, you actually turn it on and just hold it on the skin and then it'll come on. And I haven't had it backfire or like misfire at all. Whereas the I one, you have to put it on, push the button, wait for it to beep and then take it off. And if this one misfires, which it can, if it's not sitting just right on the skin, it hurts. <laughs> Other than that, I can use both of these lasers on the highest setting and I don't have any issues and they're very, very easy to use. So again, I've enjoyed this one so much that I decided to get this one. And if you want like more information and stuff, I know um, uh, Angie from Hot and Flashy on YouTube has done, I think, pretty extensive videos with before and after pictures on her YouTube channel. So that'd be a good kind of reference if you want a little bit more extensive information on them. I'm excited to get going further with this Nira Pro laser version right here. And I was happy to get the 25% off during Black Friday as well. And then I got in my Black Friday order from Menagerie Cosmetics and they sent over a free camouflage soft focus setting powder with, I think it was over $150. Did I spend, I must have spent over $150. It was free with X amount of dollars of purchase. And I haven't tried this just yet, but the packaging is really cute. So this one here has got 0 0.31 ounces of product and it is in translucent. This is what the box looks like. I would have loved this little uh, gecko, oh, is it a gecko? No, a chameleon? Yeah, I think it's a chameleon um, on the cover there. I guess there's a little squirrel on there, but this appears like it's going to be quite brightening. You can see that there's quite a bit of a white aspect in there, so I don't know how translucent it is going to be, but it was free, so I am going to give it a try. And then I picked up five of their Moonlit Metals Liquid Toppers. So they're these guys right here. This is a newer product from the brand. And a lot of the pictures I've seen them used as toppers over the Menagerie Liquid Lipstick Formula, which um, I have got several of their liquid 
liquid lipsticks that I like to use for eyeliners that have like this deep color to them and I love them like that. I haven't used any on the lips but I've heard that they're super super comfortable and I can believe that because when I put um, them on as eyeliner they don't like look crunchy or anything like that but a lot of the pictures show these as toppers over their liquid lipsticks but I was super intrigued to use them as toppers over eyeshadows. So I do have just a dash of dragonfly tapped over the green on my lid just to give a little bit of extra dimension and these are really really smooth shiny products some of them got like a triple finish or like slight slight multi-chrome but a lot of dual chrome kind of aspects to them and they're super easy to use and they also dry down really well so i've been enjoying them like that there aren't huge chunks of glitter in them i think i said that already they're very very smooth and I have, I think I've worn all of these so far as toppers and you can tap them on with your finger or you can use like a little flat shader brush. They work really well, they're easy, easy to use. So that first one there is called Dragonfly. I like their new packaging too. It's really, really cute. And then we've got Hummingbird right here, which is like a blue, purple, pinky kind of shift. So that one is Hummingbird. The next one is Glisten. I really do want to go back on there and like play the collect them all game <laughs> because I think they're super, super pretty products. Um, so that one there is Glisten. And then we've got the shade Firefly, which is like blue, purple, green. And these two, they don't feel like dry and crunchy on the lids either. So that one right there is called Firefly. Get it to shift a little bit better. These are a little bit harder to kind of show the shifts on camera. And then the fifth one is the shade Scratching Post, which is just stunning. It's like a pink with gold and purple, one of those kind of deals. So that one is a Scratching Post right there. And I think that they look really pretty like on the hand just like that, but they really do make amazing like toppers for this little extra added bit of dimension and sparkle. And then on Black Friday, they launched a new eyeshadow palette based around their Arthurine kind of series. They have a blush palette um, like this as well, which is one of my favorite blush palettes that I have. I really, really love the Menagerie Cosmetics blushes. Like I love their single like duochrome ones too. I've actually got one on my cheeks today. So this is their new Arthurine palette. And this one says distributed manufactured in Post Falls, Idaho. But I believe that Menagerie, or at least it used to be a Washington based brand. Um, but this guy here's got nine shades that are one and a half grams each. Again, love that packaging. And this palette here is what I have got on my eyes today. This here is a multi-chrome shadow. And I've actually worn this palette for the last three days in a row <laughs> because I, I just really, really love it. And there's something that really has a strong holiday vibe as well, which is just super pretty. And I initially thought that it wasn't gonna be like a, a standalone for me. Um, but it is. The green is got a nice enough like light shine that it just looks really beautiful by itself on the lid. I was just checking to see if this is magnetized and it is. So you've got these two shimmers right here like this purple multi-chrome and then this really beautiful green and the rest of the shades are matte. And I love it. I just absolutely love this palette. Again, I wore it three days in a row and I'm also wearing it today. <laughs> And then these next ones. And this last shade, which is a beautiful. So that one right there is Menagerie's new Arthurine eyeshadow palette right there. And I love it. And then I also grabbed their Claws Volume 2 palette. So they did away with the first iteration of this palette that they did. This guy right here, which launched um, last year during Black Friday, the Paws and Claws, which I love. I love, love, love those original palettes so much. And I was like contemplating, I almost was going to buy a backup of this. And then when I finally went to do it, 
they switched it up and came out with a volume two and the other one was no longer available and I was just like why <laughs> because that palette is so beautiful I've got big dips and it. it was one of my favorite palettes from last year and I've used it a ton this year as well um but I wanted to get this one because there were some different shades in there and it is a cohesive really pretty palette it's got the same packaging as the first one that came out. I think I mentioned both of these um, are magnetized inside the palette as well, so you can swap out the shades. Um, but this one's only got one shimmer shade, which is this one up in the corner. So when I use this, it works nicely underneath the brow and on the lid, so I can use this palette by itself. And I really like this interest of colors, like the gray, the peach, some yellowish browns, a green. It just really can get a pretty interesting look out of it. I love like the color stories that Menagerie does. Like upon first glance, they don't seem cohesive, but looks just come out super cool from them. And their formula has gotten better in terms of being like real super soft and kind of like too much uh, kick up and stuff like that. It's like they're pressed a little bit better, but still really soft and easy to pick up on a brush. And then this last shade. So that is the Claws Volume 2 palette um, right there. And then let me grab the first one just to show it in case you did pick up the other one. I actually have both Paws and Claws like sitting right here in my like easy to reach for pile of shadows <laughs> because that's how much I love them. So I think there's a dip there's a substantial dip in every single one of the shades in the first one. Um, again, I, I am kicking myself, I'm not going to lie, I'm kicking myself that I don't have a backup of this. There is something, I, I suppose I shouldn't be like going off about how wonderful this is if you can't get it. <laughs> um, there's just something about these sparkle shades with these same kind of that just turns out so beautiful. So we're just gonna show them side by side in case you do have the first one and you want to see a comparison. So here's volume two and here is volume one right there. I really wish they would have never dis discontinued the first one. And then I got in a PR package from Glow Recipe that has a really cute like set in here. It's the Glow Recipe Dewy Skin Goals. Um, it came in this box right here. It says, give the gift of glow. Glow Recipe is, pr is a proud partner of Children's Miracle Network Hospitals whose mission is to change Kids' health to change the future, which is super, super nice. It says, we are grateful to be able to use our platform to support and make an impact through donating 100K in product and 50K in monetary donations. So that's pretty awesome. So they sent over this set right here, which has got um, a full size of the Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA Pore Type Toner, this guy right here. And I have been through several of those. Um, I like to use that toner when... Uh, the pixie is a little bit too much, especially in the summertime. I use this glow recipe one um, every single day all summer. I had used the pixie one at night and I think this one uh, during the day. And then some days I actually just use this morning and night. So I really do love that toner. And then the glow recipe watermelon glow pink juice in the smaller size, which I kind of use like a serum. It's got like this gel texture to it, which does have a nice hydration to it. And it's, it feels serum-y to me, so I like to layer that product. And then there's also a full size of the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops, which is a product I've actually, I've actually purchased both of these products before. But this here really does it give like an extra bit of juiciness to your skin, and I think it looks really great underneath um, makeup. So I'm super happy to have this set here from Glow Recipe. And a huge thank you to them for sending this guy over. And then lastly, Wet n Wild sent over their Marilyn Monroe collection. I was super excited when I opened up this box. The whole like layout and everything is really, really pretty. So you like open up the top and there's a bunch of Marilyn Monroe products in there, which takes me back to um, the Marilyn Monroe matte collection. That was so coveted and sold out so fast when it launched online. I was so I was lucky enough to get some of the lipsticks, the eyeshadows, and I think I did get the powder as well. I was like refreshing my phone, waiting it for it to like show up on the MAC website. So there are four of these little face puffs in there, which face puffs are kind of like they give me they do give me that old Hollywood glamour because it's a it's something that was used a lot like back in 
the day with makeup you know so it's just a cute little touch that there's like four of them in there and then you've got two highlighters and a blush which I've used these and they're both really pretty and the blushes as well it's kind of a natural rose and the highlighters are super shiny so here is the packaging 0.26 ounces of product this one is cool champagne right here and should I tell you what it says on the back these are made in China but it's super super glowy like, but it's smooth. There aren't, there aren't any like chunks of anything in there. Isn't that pretty? So that one there is the cool champagne. And then we have got the peachy pink, which is a little bit peachier. And I thought that I couldn't use this one, but I can. The reflect is really nice. There's a ever so slight undercast. Um, so it's probably one I'll reach for a little bit more in like the summertime, I guess. But it's also really pretty. So that one right there is peachy pink again with the packaging and then the blush is called rose and this one same thing 0.26 ounces of product and this one is made in China really easy to wear neutral kind of rosy blush and there are some sparkles in here as well some of them are a little bit larger sparkles but I don't feel like they adhere to the cheeks so that one right there is the rose blush there's also a lip balm look at how cute with the packaging and you do have to be careful because these don't go all the way down so that when you put it back in, you don't kind of nick it on the cap. But it's like a gold with some shimmer in it. It kind of smells like rose too. Kind of like Anasui rose. So there is a fragrance in that guy. And then there's a lipstick. Um, both of these are also made in China. 0.15 ounces in each. And here is the red lipstick. Let me swatch it for you guys. I don't wear red lipstick that often. Gosh, that's creamy. Very, very creamy. And it's a slight, it's got a slight pink undertone to it. But that's the lipstick. Um, it doesn't have a name underneath it, but it must be the Marilyn Monroe shade. And then here is the lip liner corresponding to that lipstick. Which I'll put right underneath it. Which is a great pairing. And then we have got an eyeliner in a brown shade it's just called brown so here is the brown and I believe that this the uh, PR is available on the website as well gosh that's a really creamy eyeliner too and then there's a white because I believe Marilyn like to do white in the waterline so here's the white the white is kind of dried out a little bit to be honest it's like a matte white it's not as creamy as the brown I feel, it just feels like it's kind of drying out a little bit. And then here is the lip gloss. That is what the packaging looks like on there. And there's the gloss. Matches the lip products really well. Those highlighters, right? And you guys are looking at them highlighters. <laughs> there's also translucent powder, also made in China, 0.28 ounces of product. Um, this guy right here has got some shine to it. Um, I did attempt to set my face with it one day and I started at the chin. I was like, yeah, nope, that's not going to work. <laughs> it's got too much yellow in it. Um, and there is quite a bit of shine as well. So I think um, if you like a little bit more of a glow and you have a different undertone than me, you might really like it. I do get along with Wet n Wild setting powders pretty well. But this one here just pulls very, very yellow when I set my face with it. But that one is the Translucent Luminous Setting Powder. There's a red velvet headband in there with a bow. And then there's also this brush, which is like a blush brush. You could also use it for bronzer or even highlighter if you needed to. Um, a little flat shader with this one here. The brushes don't really have like a, a Marilyn Monroe aspect to them, but they were in the package. And then you've got a double-ended eyeliner, one with a really fine brush tip. Look at how inky that is. I love how fluid the product comes out of that. I like to use pens like that to really crisp out the outer like lines of my eyeliner and then this other end is a felt tip I really like that they put one of each on there and they're both again they're both really fluid so there's that double-ended pen in there and that's what the packaging on that one looks like there's a bare focus clarifying finishing powder in there in the translucent shade this I've been through several of you guys have seen me uh, haul quite a few of those in the past I really like that for um, when my skin feels a bit drier um, more recently though I'm so in love with the Huda Beauty powder it doesn't dry my skin out it just 
looks so nice on the skin. I've kind of not been using some of my other favorite setting powders. Um, that clarifying one was one from my favorites uh, last year. And then there's the Big Papa Mascara, which I've not tried this yet. If you have, I'd love to know um, how you feel about that one, especially in comparison if you tried like the Sky High or the L'Oreal one. And then there's a Mega Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. And then there is this little quad called just eyeshadow palette. <laughs> Um, made in China that has Marilyn Monroe on it. And this is a really nice little cohesive palette. Um, there's two shimmers and then some neutral browns. I think that they did a really good job in terms of the colors of the products that they use in the whole collection. It, I think they kind of nailed it for kind of how what I've seen anyway how she does her makeup. And the shadows are nice too. And this probably only costs like four dollars or something. So that is the little five pan and a huge thank you to Wet n Wild for sending this guy over. It is a really cute collection. I love to see stuff like this coming um, like to the drugstore from drugstore brands and I've always loved wet and wild. <laughs> and that is everything that I have for my haul today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I will see you guys later. Bye.